Yeah, a lot of our that. very own pitch perfect. Yep, there she is over there. Pitch, come come to the mic. And uh, the um, now now how how old are you? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm twenty. Twenty. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, all right. Well, Two of them. Okay, that's uh, that. Uh, so you're you're just you're 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 in that weird place where you're 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 old, but you're but you're young. Exactly. You know what I mean? You 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 should be a woman, but and quit acting like a child, but you're not quite. <laughs> I mean. To put it all in perspective, Jameis Winston is twenty. Okay, uh, so <laughs> but, uh, but, there's no, but there's no comparison. Well, I just wanted to do a quick example that would show us, you know, how you can be hung between boy and man. Where uh, um, now, where do you go to school at? I go to Sanford. I'm a junior this okay. year. So. I go to Sanford. <laughs> She's so perky. And I'm a junior. Uh, and so, but you you had a big night last night, huh? I did. It was actually Saturday. Um, or this weekend. Yes. Yeah. And it was, I had no idea that it was coming. Um, my boyfriend and I have been dating for over a year and a half. Um, so I guess I should have expected it a little bit more, but I thought that we would wait, I guess, until I was a little older. So I had no clue. Um, but yeah, we went out just like for a regular date night. We went and ate at Rojo and um, went to Steel City Pops. And we just had a really good time. And turns out the reason like he took me to Steel City Pops is because he was stalling. Because um, <laughs> we um we were gonna go to Vulcan and I th- I was like oh, why are we going straight yeah. there? For those of you not um, aware of this, this is the giant god of uh, forge, forge that we have here in our oh, city. It's, it's actually the second largest statue in the country behind the Statue of Liberty. Nobody, nothing says romance <laughs> like a a Roman <laughs> god of forge with no pants on. Yeah, right. you know it. Uh, but uh, <laughs> those buns must weigh fourteen. As tons. we stared into those steel buns. Uh, <laughs> But anyway, so go ahead. But yeah, we we go there a lot. Um, mm-hmm. I love like going up on the tower and yeah, just looking over. It Birmingham. really is a beautiful view. Yeah, beautiful yeah, view of the so city. I thought it was kind of weird that we didn't like go up the tower. So that was kind of like, huh, I wonder what that is. But like, it didn't trigger anything. But turns out the reason we didn't go up there is because the photographer was up there taking pictures like down on us. Well, um, no, that's just that's just precious. Yeah, it Tender was great. And mild. He planned this so well, and so like we just went out on the little balcony and um, like the picture that was just up there. Like he got down on one knee, and I had no idea what was going on when he started talking to me I was just we were joking around and he was huh. like no like I'm being serious right now I was like oh oh okay that's great <laughs> and he's just like um yeah I just don't know what I would do without you I was like yeah me either ha <laughs> like <laughs> I didn't know. You what didn't. Was going you, on. You, nothing. You sent. Well, well, you tell you what you're saying. Thank you out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I believe you got the point there. Yeah. Um, but. <laughs> but he got down on one knee, and before anything else, I just started crying. And oh, I don't know why, wow. but my first instinct was kind of to like back up. And so he was like, he didn't know how to take that, and I was just standing there crying. He was like down on one knee for a good little while, and he was like. You really need to answer. <laughs> oh yeah, right. you've got to like, stare. Oh, it's a long sorry. pause right there. So for some reason, I forgot to answer, but then you know, obviously, I said yes. And then um, <laughs> after that, he was like, "Okay, but I have to ask you one thing." I was like, oh, "Okay, boy. anything." He was like, "You can't tell anybody." I was like, "What? Well, that ain't gonna happen," you know, no. in the world of social media. Well, and plus, you, you, can't, that, you can't like, ask a woman to marry you and her tell not tell anybody, right? Right. And so he's like, "What is this, Romeo and Juliet?" Yeah, he wanted to <laughs> go to Jasper the next day and tell my family first, and so okay. I was like, oh, "Okay, oh, you know, well, that's that makes classy, sense." Yeah. And um, so he was like, "And I don't want to go to the movies anymore. What if we just go back to my apartment and just hang out and spend some time together?" I was like, "Oh, that sounds great." So we got back to his apartment, and he's like, oh, I forgot something in the truck here. Here's my keys. Go ahead and go up. And I was like, oh, okay. So we um, opened his apartment door, and, like, everybody's standing there, my whole family, his whole family, well, all cool. our friends. Well, how yeah. well. cool. He did so good. So, so many bad things to report. Good to have a good story. <laughs> I know. That's yeah, great. It was good. Well, yeah, we're so very happy Have y'all got a guys. date yet? Um, No idea. Okay. It still hasn't sunk in yet, like, yeah. This is actually happening, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I've got to figure all that out. Your website on your <laughs> right. So, yeah. Yeah, so, so some hardware there. Yeah, right? there it is. Got your ring, just mm-hmm. like you like it. Now, he how, did so good on the ring too. Does your family like him? Oh yes, my little brother um, is like they, he likes him better than he likes me. Ha! That's always good. Yeah, it so. is, and they have a sweet relationship. And he's very similar to my stepdad. Like they're almost the same person, which is weird, but <laughs> that's cool. He loves him, so it's great. So, what is it? What's he going to do for a living? Um, he's a business major, so he has a lot of options, and he hasn't really figured that out yet. But yeah, now we got to figure that out now. Yeah, mm-hmm. hey, have important. you seen when the guys come to talk to Daddy Duggar about marrying one of their daughters? What he puts them through? Yes. The first question is, how are you going to support her? Yes. Right. I mean, he's very practical. Yeah. 
Oh, well, that that's a biggie. And I guess that's why we don't really have a date yet. Because mm-hmm. you, you definitely want to get that resolved. Definitely. And he graduated. He's a senior, so he'll graduate okay, in the spring. Cool. And yeah. I guess we'll go from there. Yeah, go ahead and get a date. Though. Yeah, yeah, get, get <laughs> yeah, you a date get written a date. down. You can always push it back. But, uh, you know. You, you know so, get a date. Right. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, – I mean, love's wonderful, but uh, uh, the power company has never received it for payment. Yeah, 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 they won't take it. it. But, you know, I think it's good that you got engaged this time of year because this way you can go through the holidays and kind of figure out your schedule because that that was one of the most shocking things to me and Betty we never really thought about is you have your traditions with your family. Absolutely. She has hers, and then trying to make all those mesh together don't always work out. Well, and everybody tries to fight for Thanksgiving and Christmas and Mm -hmm. all that stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's, Mm -hmm. you know, your parents are probably used to you being there for for Thanksgiving, and his are used to him being there. So. You know how do you how do you manage all that? And then if you have other brothers and sisters, it gets it can get kind of complicated. Yeah, it, it was I'm, the same thing. Sherry and I were engaged for a year. She didn't want to do that, and I said, "No, I want to go a year." You know, breaking an engagement is, is you know, yeah, you well know. Is, and look, is, let's it, all admit, uh, engaged is not married. No, it's not. Right. And and I said, you know, if we, you need to decide because right now it's all googly. You need to decide if you really want to be wife of me and everything that comes with it <laughs> yeah and 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 same thing you know you got to because holidays can yeah. be stressful getting it's got all, it's, it's got to be real yeah. we got, you got to go through that first uh, time you got to go here and you got to go yeah. do this and this because everybody's we're... event doesn't always work so you can be coordinated you know sometimes you got to backtrack and cut across and then decide what to not go to well and then there's that uncomfortable moment the leave and cleave meaning what your husband now becomes number one priority. You become his number one priority, yeah. and they right. go into a secondary mode. Yep. And sometimes that, that that's a little transition for everybody to learn that. Well, we're very happy for you. Well, thank you. Yeah, that's Me great. Too. Congratulations. <laughs> Rick and Bubba.